Welcome to Beer Explaining, everyone. Hello. On uh, this Sunday, yeah, August 20th? September. September 20th? My <laughs> yeah, dates. <laughs> September 20th. Uh, yeah, sorry. I literally couldn't remember what month it was earlier because someone was complaining about something. So That's true. Yeah, I'm not great at months right now. So, uh, uh, sorry. Um, September's not a particularly uh, memorable month for me. So, like, my anniversary is in August, so I know when it's August. September doesn't have a whole lot of events. I don't think I've been eating in September at all. Day. So, uh, yeah, sorry right. about that. So, walk me beer explaining. <laughs> Again, uh, I'm your host, uh, Hoppy Hippo, or Corey, and uh, this is Shane. Or Beer Snob. As well. That's right. Check us out on uh, Instagram. Instagram. Our YouTube channel is uh, available as well. Search Beer Splaining. We also own beersplaining.com, so if you want to check it out there, all the videos are there as well, some trip reports and stuff like that. Uh, which I still haven't done. I'm behind on the last trip. I mean, it wasn't a lot, but I think it's still So today, we are going to um, engage on a beer tasting journey of pumpkin beers. Pumpkin ales. Uh, yeah, actually, technically, I, I, we checked them all. They're all pumpkin ales. Yes. Um, one of them is an imperial... Um, but one of them is a coffee one, um, and the other ones look like they might be regular pumpkin ale. Pumpkin ale. So we'll see how we do. Uh, breweries featured in today's. This is off the top of my head. I don't think I'm gonna get them all right. Elysium. Uh -huh. Dogfish um, head. Yeah, dog. Isn't it Elysium? <laughs> Elysium. I don't know. I don't know, man. They're uh, uh, they make space dust. Buffalo Bills. Buffalo, Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills, which is the original pumpkin ale. It certainly says that. I don't know. No, it's it true. Was, it was made. Jeff Lamb. Remembers getting a pumpkin ale in the early 90s from that. It was one of the original pumpkin ales. Yes. Uh, they're also local, actually. They're, they're local. over in Hayward. They are. Um, a nice facility. I've been there. That I've one I've been, been to. <laughs> yes, I've been there. And it's it's very nice facility. Actually, that block has got a few great places. It's got the beer and brats place. Yeah. It's got a really, really good coffee shop. Uh, first Street, not First Street, uh, the Ale House. That's uh, the, uh, the, the Bistro. The Bistro. Which is uh, a little house. place, but a, a great venue for um, the... IPA Fest, single double triple IPA Fest. It's got an arcade, like an old school arcade. Yeah, right? <clears throat> that little block of Hayward's really nice. Actually. Yeah, so the Buffalo Bills Brewery <laughs> slash restaurant I've been to, um, I have only gone once, and it just looked like a pretty kind of a standard restaurant yeah. uh, with a brewery attached. Some wood um, interior, yeah. It didn't look like um, it, it, it felt more restaurant to me than yes. um, like brewery chill I would say that's sort true. of thing. Um, I would say that's true. I think I've been to a Lions game. I'm pretty sure it's in Oregon, right? I think so. I've never been. Um, I don't know I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but we went to a Lions game, right? When we did uh, the Oregon trip. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we went to a lot. the beer room? Yeah, on the beer room. I'm pretty sure they're in Portland. Yeah, we were in I don't remember that. Well, you know, you weren't, no, no, not the Colorado, you weren't with us on that. Oh, no, I said beer room. Colorado. Room. The, 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 I did two I, beer runs. So did I. Yeah, but you weren't with us the first three days in Portland. Oh, that's true. You're right. <laughs> you were driving up. We were driving up. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, so it's it, wasn't, it wasn't on the run. That's what Right, I was it was not on the run. Uh, so the Lyceum, Buffalo Bills, uh, Dogfish Head, which I have not been to. Uh, I don't even know where it is. That's in like Beach or something. Okay. It's um, way back east. They're famous for their big IPAs. Yes, they the 9120 IPAs. They also do really experimental stuff. The guy who's the brewer there does a couple of different beer shows on various okay, TV okay. stations. So uh, we have two Elysium beers actually. Should mention there's been two of these Elysiums or Elysiums or Elysiums or Elysiums. Maybe they'll watch the video and correct us on how to pronounce Maybe it. Ah, uh, what else is there? Um, Shiners. Well, that's right. Yes, Shiner. Shiner famous for their box. No, the name of the brewery is not Shiner Bach, it's Shiner. And it's in Texas. And there's one more. What's the other one? Buffalo Bills, Shiner, Elysium. Oh, um, Anderson Valley. I've been to Anderson Valley. Uh, that yeah. shit is in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's actually literally in a town called Boonville. Boonville. Uh, it's really a nice spot. It's uh, like kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's like on a big farm, it feels like. A uh, big warehouse um, space. Uh, nice outdoor patio, super dog friendly. The dogs are just chilling. Um, huge bottling can selection, nice uh, selection of uh, swag. Uh, they do a beer festival out there every year. They do. Um, that uh, looks really cool. Anderson Valley Beer Festival? Uh, yes. So that's, I think I forgot one. There's probably one more, but I can't remember the other ones right now. So. We'll read them all at the end. Uh, today's food uh, was sandwiches. Uh, specifically paninis. Yeah, it was panini specifically. Uh, fresh baked bread. Um, uh, cheese, bacon, lettuce, pastrami, turkey, tomatoes. It was great. It was really um, good. We decided agree. not to eat on camera mm -hmm. this week because it turns out it doesn't make for good TV. Well, and, you know, stuffing a giant sandwich in your face, yeah, it probably doesn't really... I mean, I don't know. Like, some Translate people like it when I stuff giant things in my mouth for some weird reason, but that's 
and I think figure there might be a picture coming up soon of that. So that's today's food. So thank you to the uh, lovely Amber for the food. It's very good. It's very good. Uh, they're pouring our beers for us now because they love us, which is great. So, uh, so we're going to do pumpkin beers. So Shane, why don't you tell us about pumpkin beers? Well, and basically pumpkin beers are really just, they're going to add some spices. Some people will add actual pumpkin to the pumpkin beer, but a lot of times it's really just adding your all spices and your nutmegs. Uh, you can get it in different styles, but the most common is the pumpkin ale so that it doesn't interfere with the other stuff. But, you know, there are pumpkin stouts, but I think those tend to be more, again, less of the actual pumpkin added and more of the spices. Mm -hmm. added. So uh, those, there is a caveat, too. If you ever get a keg of pumpkin or winter ale, you're going to need to replace your line when you're done because that shit stays. The flavor all soaks into those beer lines like crazy. So warning, if you're going to get a keg of pumpkin beer or spiced beer, have extra beer with you. So what he's saying is if you're insane and you want 40 pints minimum of, of a pumpkin beer, you're going to need to replace your lines. Um, or if you make a yeah. home brew that's a holiday winter ale. Oh, I guess that's fair. Which is what I did, and that was how I learned. I don't know. I mean, do you really think, like, do you think the, the, oh, what's the big volume? Anchor Steam, do you think that would mess up the line? Like, I like the Anchor Steam probably wouldn't because it, I don't know that it has as much spices, but in, if you've got a lot of the nutmeg and allspice in the beer, and... It, it did. I, like I said, I made a homebrew. The homebrew was really good, and I switched it over to a pale ale. And I'm like, wow, right. this tastes like nutmeg. So, yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, things like nutmeg and allspice will totally yep. stay in line. Just stay right in line. So, yeah. So, um, but that's you know, and basically, and, and you're gonna find it always right around this year. I do think it's a little bit better if you add the actual pumpkin meat to it. It, it gives it a little bit more. I know Jeff did that on a homebrew. Yes, that was a uh, that was yeah. pain in the ass. Yes, that was that was that is the other problem with it is trying to get that stuff through the cheesecloth. It was a problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like 20 minutes. It, it was, was yeah. It was hilarious. So uh, that's for me today. I guess we're gonna do that. Uh, oh, and oh, oh, beer pong. That's why we got beer pong. Uh, this is my uh, my newest acquisition here. It's awesome. If you look at it, it doesn't give you like at least a smile or make you feel happy if these bright ass bears are playing some beer pong. Uh, you have no soul. I, I think I would agree with that. So. Bear pong. <laughs> yes, it, it is a gorgeous day, but breathable air, Brett. But um, it's also 90 degrees out here, so it's a little hot outside. And if we went outside, we couldn't display the food. Right. Um, so, so we opted not to do that. Yeah. Next weekend, we will, next weekend, if it works out, we'll probably actually we'll probably have to be inside next weekend, so we're doing the Bear Lakes. Yes. Um, it's hard to get yeah, I was going to say the scheduling. Um, outside, yeah. I think. We have so. a guest star coming for the, the barrel aged porters and stouts, which are going to be big, big beers. Oh boy, but it comes to the beer. Yeah. Holy shit. You want to go get them? Uh, yeah, I do. I do want to go get them. Somebody's I left the me. handles up for you. So what am I doing? Grabbing the handles. Oh, I'm grabbing the handles. Got it. Okay. Do you have it? So, yeah. yeah. So, schedule coming up is going to be um, the, labels are under the, the barrel age next week, and then the following week, we're going to start getting into some October fest. So, You're so do you want the food back? That was very graceful, Strzok. Do you want to give me the food back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just set this down. <clears throat> That way you can center that. There we go. The one, <laughs> one is Brett, the corners. I, whatever your needs are, we will pay attention to them. You just have to tell one me. One is the corners. One is the corners. The top right. corners. One nope. is six. Nope. Their numbers are underneath, so when you pick up the beer, you'll see it. Six. All right, so we need one, four, 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 two, okay. three, four, five, six. Like mm -hmm. there? Yeah. I would push it up a little bit more. Maybe this way? <laughs> Perfect. There we go. All right. So, yeah, we got fucking beer. Uh, oh, we have scoring sheets. Shit, oh, I'm bad at this important. today. I'm sorry, guys. So, yeah, so, uh, and Brett apparently is about to get his, his RV so he can come out and have some pints with us and then sleep outside in the car. So, we do have a spare bedroom still. It's true. He can say goodnight. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he said you were showing the audience the room. That's yeah, not a cuss. Not uncommon for Corey to show his meat to the audience. Uh, so, as you can see, at least we'll start with explaining some of the beers. You've got a wide variety of colors, even though they are technically all ales. You're going from your standard goldenish to a much more dark, you know, almost uh, uh, quarter color. They all look very nice. They're not overfilled because, you know, shaky. Um, okay, awesome. We got a beer. So, uh, before we start today, uh, we just did want to talk about one current event, at least. Yes. Uh, I think both Shane and I want to mourn the passing of um, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, which is very sad. 
uh -huh. it's not a great time, but it's never a great time. You have to think of, of the world that I lived in, starting with someone who went to some of the best law schools, worked for some of the best people, and could not get a job working for the Supreme Court because she was a woman. So she decided, F you people, I'm going to overturn all of that by first going before the appellate courts and then finally getting appointed to the Supreme Court. Her, her writing, Antonin Scalia's writing and her writing are probably two of the best written versions of anything that the, the Supreme Court has ever put out. And if you haven't read some of her decisions, you really should, especially her dissents, the blistering, but also a tinge of humor in a lot of what she writes. So it is, it's a, it's a sad day for the country. It's a sad day for minorities and uh, women's rights, and I'm hopeful for a positive outcome. And I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. I don't think it, I don't think you could overstate like the into, like the effect that Ruth Bader Ginsburg nope. has had like on the nope. nation just in general. Nope. Um, so that's very sad. Uh, and as someone who practices law, like, it's, she's just she's she's a star. She is. It's funny that she's a rock star with the millennials and the, the younger age, but she's actually like a star in the legal community too. So it's, it's, it's just sad. snappish. It's just sad. Um, all right, so that's our. our Primary political rants. Uh, I expect next weekend we will have a new political rant. It might involve something like handmaids. Could, um, could. so let's hope it. Although, counts. although there's, you know, Trump's suggestion for performance enhancing drugs for for our Joe Biden yeah. candidate, yeah. rather than you know use some politically correct terms like you know rectally, just flat out says you should take it in the ass. So that's our president. Good all class. Him. All class. All class indeed. All right. So uh, let's do some beer because uh, now I'm feeling down. No, yep, I agree. I fine, actually. I agree. Right. Let's do some fucking beer. Let's do some beer. So uh, we got six beers here in front of us. Uh, we're going to do uh, appearance and smell first, like usual. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm hoping we get some fragrance today. Uh, I'm hoping so, too. I feel like we if should. a pumpkin beer doesn't manage to hit my nostrils, either my nose is broken or they just didn't put enough aromatics in. I'm like agree. super broken. They've got to be. Or you need a COVID test. Yes, or you need a COVID test. <laughs> well, I can definitely taste that sandwich earlier, so my taste is still there. So that's <laughs> All right, so uh, let's, uh, let's start with appearance. So... Um, I gotta say, I really like all the colors, even though they're all different. I I, I don't really fault many of them. That should be fault. This is your your. She did one oh. on outside corners for okay. Chance. I get it. okay. So it's okay. Okay. So uh, wow. So we're so I'm just gonna look them up so we can take a quick look at them. Um, so this is beer number one. It's uh dark. It's not particularly see through. No, it's a, it's a little muddy. Um, That's probably my least favorite of the smell. That's not bad. I would probably give that like a seven. seven. I don't think it's the best yeah. color, but it's not a terrible looking color. Oh, that is that is one, right? That one. Yes, that was one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. All right, beer number two. I, and that's this two. Nice and clear. I like that. It looks. I like the head on this too. It's got just like a little bit of head. This one here doesn't have like any head left at all. Um, these two both retain their heads a little bit. It's a nice color. It's I do like that. Color. And it's what, I, it's what I would want. I'm going to go a little bit higher. I'm going to go with a nine because it is what the color I would want a pumpkin ale to be, which is the lighter color, but the but darker than a regular pale ale. So I'm going to go with a nine. Really right. Like. See, so let me go to this one, which is clearly a much darker beer. Um, this is actually kind of what I want my pumpkin ale to look like. I like them to be sort of like a right. pumpkin, like, like an amber. Mm -hmm. like I like, them, I like them when they're maltier. Like, right. Personally. Like and that should have a lot of chocolate malt or smoke malt. Flavors, right? This, because of the darker color. This color reminds me of like a definitely like a dark if you're like a like a, like a Mars or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's almost like short color, really. It's really yeah, it's a nice dark color. I, I'm gonna give it an eye. I actually like it. I'm gonna give it an eight. I do like the color, uh, but it's just not what I want. Uh, so four is gonna be up here. Uh, it's another light one. It's actually lighter than the other one. That one's a little too light for me. I think it is a little That's too light. That's almost pale ale uh, in color. I'm probably gonna go seven on it. I'm gonna go seven on that one too. We're tearing no, through today. And then I like five. I love the color. It's again, it's a little cloudier. So it's cloudier than, than the other might one. Be, might be unfiltered. I'm curious. It's a little cloudier than the other one. I think it's pretty similar though. Um, I'm going to go with the eight on that one just because it's a little cloudy. Eight's probably reasonable enough. Um, and then we have this one here. Um, so I like them darker, but I don't like the color of this beer. No, it's, that one's it's the, kind of it's ruddy. brownish. Yeah. yeah. Like this is like a dark sort of chocolatey brown. This is yeah. like a... No, I'm gonna give it on the seven. Like a rusty kind of yep. brown. Yep. Right. No, I don't, and, and also a little cloudy too. So. All right. So I got. So I went seven, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven. Seven, nine, eight, seven, eight, seven. All right. So let's do some smell. smell. I guess. Um, let's start on one. I guess. Yep. 
There's that fix Oh, spice. yeah. You get, you get, oh, yeah. You get the all spice. You get the nutmeg. Yeah, yeah. This one yeah, has some half the smell. Yep, yep. I'm going to give that a nine on the smell. Yeah, that's smells are there. Smell that's, like. that's good. I'm going with Shane's leather. I like the nine on that. There's, uh, there's no problem with smell there. You nope. get that beer, you know what you're about to drink. Yes. There's no, there's no questioning what that smells like. This one has a smell, but it's not as spicy as the first one. It's no, more, it's, this one's more ale-ish than, than... More like plain um, beerish to me. Like a, I agree with you. It reminds me of like the lagers kind of smelled like a couple weeks ago. Yes, it has a lager smell. I'm, just, I'm wondering if this is shiner. So I'm going to give this like a six. I just, yeah, it's not enough spice. I'm not getting anything. I agree. I, why do I keep clicking the time to click? Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe because I'm sitting on the couch. Ooh, this has got like a cinnamon. Right? Yes, that's what I'm trying to be. Yeah, it's cinnamon. Yep, yep. But not, I like it, but it's not as pumpkin as I would want. I'm going with a nine. I want to give it a ten, but I'm going with a nine. I, I think it's a little with, short on the pumpkin, but I think it's very, very good. Um, not quite. But it's very nice. Yeah. It's so okay, reaching across. I'm not getting anything on this one, really at all. A little bit. I get some. I get some. Yeah, it's in there, but it's 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 certainly not as strong as number one. I think go with a seven. With a six. I think it's about the roughly the same as the other one. Just I get some of them. I get some of them. Five. 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 Oh, the smell is back. There's more smell on this one. It's got to be great watching two guys that smell beers. I agree. How Hi, far, Brett. How far down the glass can I stick my nose? I don't think it's all that strong. It, I get the smell. I, I get the smell. I do, but I don't know if it's that much. I get the cinnamon on it. I feel a little cinnamon on it. Yeah. I'll go with a seven on that. I think, I think seven is probably okay. It's not super. And the last but not least. Mm. Mm. Well, they packed in some smell on this beezy. I didn't get much. Oh, I thought I had it. No, I don't have it anymore. Shit. Yeah, I think it's from the last one. I'm, I'm getting that one a six. I don't get anything. Could be wrong. I don't get anything. I think you're right, actually. Oh, I'm getting in here. What a bummer. What a bummer. All right, we lost our co-host. Apparently, he's going for a bathroom break. If you can't do that before we start going live, it's fine. All right, well, now you get to hear me talk about something. What are we going to talk about today? Uh, did anything interesting happen this week? Oh, California cleared up for a few days. Um, so we didn't live in um, Blade Runner for a few days. The air quality was below 100, so we could go outside and run. That was nice. Uh, next uh, next week, it's supposed to go back up. So hopefully it doesn't get as bad as it did a couple weeks before that. So we'll see. Thank you. So coming up on the show, next weekend, we're doing the barrel aged beers. And then um, I think the weekend after that, we're going to do a special Livermore tasting of only um, the two newest breweries in Livermore. It's like, um, Anyway. Names right now, it's not many ways. Um, it's like oh, homegrown hops. hops and Rivers Inn. Yeah. Uh, so we're hoping to pick up some crawlers from there or cans if they have cans from there. We're going to do like a, a little live tasting of just those. Um, towards the end of October, uh, we're going to do an Oktoberfest tasting. We've already got four mainstream Oktoberfests picked up, and uh, we want to pick up some local ones to try along with those as well. I'm back. Now, welcome back, Shane. Yeah. So that's the plan for the upcoming weeks. All right, well, Shane is back now, so I guess that means we can taste. We can taste. Does anyone have any comments? No. Or some RBG. Legit, yes. Brett, legit. Uh, so, Brett, Brett will be joining us for a taste test eventually, by the way. He will be joining us for some sort of a show. Yes. Um, I don't know what he likes to drink, though. So I really sure think he this. should be part of uh, the real one. <laughs> I don't know if the real one's ever going to happen. Oh, the real one's going to happen. Because they keep scheduling we have other to do You heard it, Beth. Producer, uh, producer D over there says that you've got to come out to the uh, Wheel of Adjunct mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> get some uh, get some PBR with us. Yep. You're welcome, Brett. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some PBR. You're going to get some um, jelly beans in them and uh, coffee, coffee and, and, and other weird and shit. And uh, it's going to be know. terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It'll be awful. It's going to be great. I'm going to drink this. Oh, we're drinking. All right. I like the color of this. I think it's nice. It's really, really fragrant, though. It's mellow. It's got 
a good pumpkin finish to it. You definitely get the, the allspice and the nutmeg coming through. I feel like it's overly carbonated. It's, um, there's something about the mouthfeel I agree that I'm not enjoying. But it does have a good pumpkin flavor. It has the flavors though, for sure. It's definitely sticking in the nose, like mm -hmm. scents are there. Mm -hmm. um, I shaved the mustache a little bit, so now it's not stuck in my mustache, so I don't get that extra smell if you walk into the room. <clears throat> I mean, it's good. It's good, I think. It is good. I, I would say it's good, but not great. It's not, yeah, it's not fantastic. I, I'm not sure I'd go back to it. It might be a little bit of the Anchor Sea Winter Warmer. I agree with that. Um, but I don't think it's as good as the Anchor Sea Winter Warmer. Let me give it like a 20. I'm seeing 25. Taste, yeah. But I really do. I'm going to give it a, a 17 on aftertaste, but yeah, I do think the aftertaste is good. Yeah. And overall drinkability, I'm going to give it a 20. Yeah, the aftertaste is light for me. I'm going back down. Probably like 16. 74, 82. I think drinkability is probably the same as taste. I don't feel like anything comes That's what I said. Actually, I'm going to yeah. drop it. Actually, that's not true. I'm actually going to drop it down. Yeah. So um, like the no, no, because of the mouth. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's, 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 that's fair. That's drinkability. I'll that is true. Find it. It's, 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 uh, it's I, I want to call it actually refreshing. I don't think that's the right word. But I, I just don't find it's good. So let me just total mine up. 41, yeah, 47, 57, 81. Eighty-one. Oh, Eighty-one. I got eighty-three. What's wrong? Oh, okay. We're Produce, just discussing. Producers are working on our show. It's off center. center. She just told you you're off center. Yeah, it's oh, off you're center. Totally off center. Apparently, we're working on the show. Oh, we actually are slightly off center. We, we <laughs> mm, thanks. I fixed it. All right, it's fixed next. And ooh. Whoa, there it goes. Much better. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we were slow mo for like a second. You have oh, wow. All right. Oh, here goes Shane. Looks good. All right, we're watching ourselves on camera. It's like fucking Inception. It's it is a little weird. Okay. Little weird. Oh, I gotta drink some water. This one's gonna be important one to drink between. Oh yeah, you're, 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 you're right. Flavors of pain. <laughs> Associate producer Callie over there. Are you drinking water out of a beer glass? I am drinking water in a beer glass. Yes. Why? Well, it says beer. All right, let's move it on. Let's move that, it on. Beer. That's fair. Let's move it on. Moving it on. Number two. Uh, one of these, two of these are heavy. I think one of them's an imperial too. So I'm guessing it's one of these. Though, to be honest with you. Like I say, but nothing no, smells no. super alcoholic. No. Yeah, this one has no smell. Really this smell. one is like the one I think is shiny because it's got the lagery smell. Are you guys on YouTube live or a different live? No, you can't do YouTube live from your phone until you have 1,000 subscribers, so we need some more subscribers. This mm. is disappointing. Yeah, so, it's, it's what are you living from? We're live on Facebook, and then I'll cut the file. Dang, I can't watch that. Then I'll cut the okay. file, and um, I'll put it up on YouTube. This one tastes much more like a lager mm, or a Meriton than it does pumpkin. There's a pumpkin as well. It's, it, it, if you wait, it comes in way late. You get a tiny bit at the end. But it is very disappointing. I feel like I should have had a slice of pumpkin pie so I could re let me know what pumpkin tasted like before we did a pumpkin beer tasting or something. I agree, you know. I could have made that. Well, it's not that I think of this problem. It's like, on most of these pumpkin, I was like, I don't really get a ton of pumpkin taste. So I get us the nutmegs and the spices. Well, that's three other situations. More than actual, more just, than actual pumpkin. I feel like calling it a pumpkin ale, like, I don't really. But what like does pumpkin it. taste like? That's what I'm saying. That's I don't think I should have like a slice of pumpkin yeah. pie or so. Right, but the pumpkin pie has flavor because of the nutmeg and the allspice. That's fair. The cinnamon, right? I mean, you know, does pumpkin have a flavor? I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's, I, it's a I'm squash. Not. Most squash are kind of benign flavor wise, right? I mean, I'm dropping that. Maybe like this. No, pumpkin has a distinct flavor. It does. I think I'm like 21 yeah. ish. Yeah, I really, this one's going to get clogged. You're getting 33 views. Oh, good. Not on live, but on <clears throat> YouTube. On YouTube? Yeah. You have 33 views on one YouTube. Oh, yeah, videos. yeah. Big watch money, didn't you? And um, you've got yeah, 11 okay, so, subscribers. Yeah, Try it. Look at the 990 <laughs> subscribers to yeah. go. Yeah, Kelly, subscribe. Jeez. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm giving it an 18 on taste. I do not like it at all. I'm giving it a 9 on aftertaste. I'm giving it a there. Yeah, it's okay. It I is not good. even drinkable at all. I'm giving it an 18, which is sad because I, mean, I, I don't think it's like a color. dump out of pool. Well, the problem is not, I mean, it's not, I've had bad yeah. beer, like skunk beer, like yeah, bad yeah, beer. Yeah. I wouldn't dump this beer out. But I would never buy this beer again. No, no. Like you said, I would not. It is not dumpable, but it is certainly not drinkable. Luckily, there's no mom and pop 
agree we're going to kill the day at least, right? That's true. That's right. Yeah, we're <laughs> That's like, where we we're kill for this beer. They're like a major brewer, at least. We're not sitting. We're not sitting in Canyon Lakes or whatever it was. <laughs> Clobbing their, their beer. beer. Yeah, that was brutal. <laughs> yeah, this beer's stuck. I'll give this beer like this might be the worst score I've given a beer in like a long time. Uh, 8, 14, 34, 44. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's 62, which is sad because Schengerbach is a good beer. Let me see. Let's see. 46, yeah, I think. 42, 51, 60. It's just not good. Like, it's just no. not good. No. It's hopefully, hopefully, good. Hello, Patty. Hopefully that didn't come in bomber form. Hey, Patty. Sign up for the beer mile. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we should talk about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're doing a beer mile. We're doing a beer mile. We're doing a beer mile here at Mountain House. Uh, it will be on Halloween. It will be starting at 9 a.m. If you want to sign up, you let us know. Um, it's free. You don't get a fucking single thing for signing up. No. Nope. If we get enough people to sign up and we all want to, I will totally fiber us up a logo. Right. With, uh, Have some fun. Windmills and beer and shit. We'll order shirts post event. And uh, everyone who purchases will get a shirt, uh, provided they give me money for the shirt. Brett should come out for the beer mile. You should come out for the beer mile. Uh, Patty is going to uh, conflict with the Cool Kids run um, on a Saturday. So do not schedule a cool kids run my beer mile run, Patty. Yeah, Patty. <laughs> Don't do it. Do not do it. Do it on Sunday. Do it, Patty. All right. Cool kids run will be that Sunday. That's right. Okay. Although I don't wonder how many of the cool kids are actually doing beer. Eugene. Does he do the cool kids? Well, I don't think he's gone up with them for a while. Patty wants to do one for sure. Randy, Randy ran with the cool kids. Yeah. Um, I bet Lindsay might do it if it's in town. I'd be I'd be curious to see if Lindsay would do it. Plus, there's some new people in the cool kids group. There are, there are. So I'm, I'm, I'm not one of the cool kids. So, I'm, and that's mostly because getting up at six a.m. on a Saturday to go run it just doesn't. Welcome back, Brett. Uh, what did you miss? Uh, did you hear our critique of the second beer? Because if not, uh, we didn't like it. That's uh, Wait, Brett left. Did he hear the which show he's being invited on? I don't think he did. <clears throat> All right. Well, Brett, you're coming to the Wheel of Adjunka show. We'll pick a date. We'll work it out. It'll be fun. Uh, come out for the beer mile. That's on Halloween. Oh, those, uh, those of you who are familiar with the beer mile, you uh, run a quarter of a mile. You Actually, wait. You drink. You drink, you drink a, 12, a beer. You drink the twelve ounce beer. You run a quarter of a mile. You drink a twelve ounce beer. You run a quarter of a mile. You just rinse and repeat four times. You run a mile while drinking beer. Uh, you get disqualified if you puke. Um, pretty much. That's pretty much. That's the rules. That's the rules. So I, you know, I've got a. It might like Kelly's suggestion. Uh, it is going to be on Halloween, so if you want to wear a costume, that's always encouraged. Uh, we will be doing some videoing of it. Uh, we'll have some guests. We'll have some uh, volunteers. We're going to bump some music. Uh, we're going to hope to not get tickets. Technically I'll take it's, pictures with the people you know, coming out. Maybe we shouldn't actually do video. Cause I'm actually, we're not going to video it, actually. Scratch that. There will be no video of the event. Why not? Because I don't believe in recording your own stuff. <laughs> it's a crime. It's, it's, drinking in public is a crime. Music. So, Brett, we have gone to Eight Bridges. We actually do like uh, eight Bridges. They make yes. some good beers. The location is nice. Uh, their chili, chili cook-off cook competition, cook which we've done a few times. Yeah, got uh, Amber's gotten second place in that. Um, never gotten first, the owners and brewers are all really good people. We like Eight Bridges a lot. Right? Eight Bridges has been in our taste. We've done taste we've done of eight Bridges. Yes. Um, I will say this. I, they're not. They're not. IPAs are not great. If you like IPAs, I prefer Altamont's IPAs to theirs. But their the other triple is good. The triple is good. The triple is good. The browns, the, the browns, the loggers. The red. The reds. The red. They make really, really good alternative or other stuff. Excuse me, aside from my pants. So. You guys tell them about the beer competition. Jane Jane glazed glazed me. Yeah. Apparently, Jane looks glazed and, already. And, and, I'm, and I'm not sure how that is because I've barely had a beer. Wow. But, All right. Um, so you know, I, I, I think we can be pretty clear that when I say someone looks glazed, it, it is not what Jim thinks it means. It's what? Brett thinks it means. Oh, yeah. Very much what Brett thinks it means. <laughs> All right. I don't drink out beer three. No, Number no. three. This is my best. This is my best beer off the first two. So I did this thing a nine nine. So I'm. Right, this one. I'm hopeful here. I'm hopeful. Oh, thanks, Snickers. I think you need a shout out to Jim because he said uh, that this is the, the amazing thing is that he's watching this with all the guests that have software. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much our philosophy. Like, it, the internet has a lot to offer, but we are going to do this. Here we go. Oh, I didn't. Well, I'll tell you what. This beer does not lack for flavor. <laughs> I believe that. After that last beer, which really did, uh, this beer is not lacking at all. Dad, water. Oh. Wow. Holy that, cow. That, that beer is on fire, man. There's definitely some cinnamon there, too, because you get a little burn. 
it's good. It's but really I don't know if I like it. I like it. Don't know if I like it. You know what, man? Maybe don't be so glazed. Maybe you should be so glazed. Amazing. It's right. right? <laughs> you gave it a really high smell uh, score, but I'm not. I don't know. It's 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 the flavors are kind of competing. It's all I don't know. It's just I don't know. Someone stole mine. Too much clove. Clove. Yeah. Yeah. Or allspice. Might be allspice. I don't know what it is, but it um, like I actually I don't like that beer. I don't like that beer at all. I like it better than the last beer. Um, this feels like a heavy winter warmer. It does. I think this is the Interstate Valley. <laughs> they are having way too much fun with glaze. <laughs> beer grinders? Come on, Brett. God, I took one sexy pick. There's one time I shoved an entire hot dog into my mouth. And now I gotta be beer grinders? Sandwich photos. <laughs> uh yeah, you know, I you know what? I'm I'm gonna give this it's a 20. Oh hey, have you guys seen beer pong yet? Check it out. It's bear pong. Bear pong. <laughs> Let me see if it's in there. <laughs> oh, it's in there. Is this off center? Right. It's off centered again. You guys keep moving it off center. Alright, that was a quick bear around. pong break. Sorry about that. I think it's better than the first beer. I think it's significantly better. It's very different. I'm going 26. It's definitely more centered. Than I actually like the aftertaste, so I'm going to go 18. Um, I think drinkability wise, it's probably 27. I think it's a little bump because it smells good and it looks good. I'm actually, this is going to be my favorite beer. I'd be shocked if anybody gets this beer from me personally. One, two, six, eight. I'm, I'm, this is a 91 for me. I think it's really good. Wow. I gave it a 66. I yeah. just like this beer. Yeah. This is actually super rare that we have this type of disagreement on beers, to be honest with you. Um, no, I really like it. I guess we know which bottle I'm finishing. Yeah, I'm not even sure I want to finish that glass. Yeah, I think it's good. I should like it. My new thing. Hey, hey, Sierra, 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 we're on camera over here. She doesn't care. When the red she light's on, she needs no barking. That's right. All right. Corey needs a beard, but Shane could pass as a bear. Yeah. Bears drinking beer. <laughs> Bears. I see what you did there, Brett. I'm familiar with the grinder terminology, bro. I'm <laughs> over my head. Shane is much closer to being a bear than I am, though, because uh, I have very light hair and not a lot of it on my back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so Shane's. I don't know if I have a hairy back, but Shane's I have a, a hairy more, individual. Shane's a little more bear than me. I'm a little more bear. All right. That's, that's true. Uh, neither of us would uh, neither of us would qualify as tweets, though, I'm pretty sure. So. I don't think so. Um, bears love beer to be great. That's just Jim. All right. Let's move on to number four if we continue our grinder discussion. <laughs> right. Uh, this was not where I saw the show going today, but, you know. Well, we did open up with some, R with some notorious RBG. We did. Uh, she would be a proponent of grinder existing. She would be. She would be. Probably was one. Or two. All right, we'll go on. This is, a, this is another food that had no smell to me. Only a six for me on this one. It's not a big one. That is a much more traditional pumpkin ale. This is the but first beer I'm pretty sure it tastes like pumpkin. Yep. I think there's an actual pumpkin flavor yep. in this. Yep. And not that all spice, cinnamon, nutmeg, just the other spice. Like, this beer, I'm pretty sure this beer tastes like pumpkin. I agree with you. Apparently, ginger bears are prized. <laughs> That's fucking this awesome. is why we need bread on the show because it's just the the you will elevate the level of discourse. So <laughs> wow. So um, I mean, this I don't know because like I'm not, I'm not sure I love the flavor, but damn, this flavor is spot on. I like, I feel like it should be. I like the front end, but not the back end. It's water. It's kind of like I guess, I guess fair. Itself out. I guess the flavor wise, so, like perfect pumpkin ale. So I feel like these first three, like now that I've had this beer, I feel like these first three really remind me of like a winter warmer spice ale sort of beer. Well, this beer just says pumpkin. It's a pumpkin beer, which I like the taste of. Never try this. Try this, Sam. So I gave it a 26 on taste because it is what I think a it's, pumpkin beer should taste it's like. It's absolutely a pumpkin I'm beer. I'm not liking the aftertaste because really it's watery, so I gave it a 13. And then... It tastes like apple spice. 
spikes look like you know, that's I mean cinnamon and, and try it, and try it. Like it. No, but try it. Now that I said that you'll get apples. <sighs> No, you're right. She's right. You get a little apple once you think about apple. But it, it doesn't, it's definitely different than the other beers. I think that's a lot of it. 77. 767. See, I gave it a 13 on, on aftertaste and I docked the drinkability because of the aftertaste. Yeah, yeah I gave it a 15 on aftertaste, but I kept the drinkability of the sandwich because I think the taste is really nice. It's, it's very different. Brett, why are you killing us over here? No, Brett and Jim want to be our research assistants. Oh, that's fine. You guys can be our research team. It's totally fine. You're hired. Salary. Yeah, she, no, Jim knows that, right? Oh yeah, okay. they went to high school together. Jim, Jim and and I thought it was Jeff and Brett. Well, Je is Brett one year older than Jeff, I think. But they all they all basically see each other. I was gonna say I appreciate yeah, yeah. that. All right, so um, I got an eight on that. Honestly, I liked it. I didn't like it. I mean, it was okay. I like. I, I, like I would have liked it better if it had a better after taste. That's all I'm saying. I, I like that it was so different. Like, I mean. I like winter warmers, and I think there's a chance this year that we'll do the uh, blind. We might do a blind acres for Christmas. I got five. Of I was saying, because you have a couple, I have a couple. We can probably we can just drink all your food on my beer anyway, I guess. Uh, we probably need some guests for that though, because um, all of our shit is in Magnum form. Yes, that will definitely be at least a one, if not two, guest for sure. It's all Magnum form, so um, yeah. Well, hopefully by morning. December we don't have to be all this quarantining. So we may be able to have some, some more guests. Yeah, I think, I think two guests would be awesome for that show because we're talking about drinking like 200 ounces of beer between the four of us. Um, right? The magnets are like 40 ounces each. Cheers. Now, aren't they? What? How big is the magnet? How many ounces is the magnet? Oh, God. It's 60? I don't even know. I don't, it's, it's a lot, lot. of beer. Because once you open a magnet, you have to do the whole magnet. No, that's it's crazy. crazy. There's no, there's no reason. Yeah, we need two guests for sure. You got it. You got, you, well, hopefully you can drink some spiced beer because... Okay, we'll blind taste them. Yeah. Really gonna be fun. I agree. Anchor Steam actually does something you probably want this year. But normally, the Anchor Steam in San Francisco, you can go there and they'll do a vertical of, yeah. of the winter waters, yeah. um, which I have not yeah. had yeah. I, I didn't get to that facility. I didn't go so bad. I liked their, their newer facility. I haven't been to the old facility, but the I've newer been facility with the warehouse. Who did we go with? What did we with Anchor? It wasn't me. I, I, we always go there. We always go to the city. We talk about we want to go to Anchor. It's always on my list. And we just somehow never end up near Anchor. It's we end up not exactly near some other stuff. Seven, we've gone to some random seven stills locations and stuff like that, for example, which only has one location. There. No, I really liked it. The outdoor facility, part of the facility was great. The indoor is huge, spacious. It was, I, I really liked it. that the line was super long and we ended up not stopping? No. no. We've gone in because I, I, you go in, it's kind of a warehouse. Roll up door, there's a big patio area on the outside, like the food truck, and when you go in and turn right, and the bar went to the right, which is this huge open space. I just don't remember who it was with. That's like a description of like 90% of the It is, it is. But in <laughs> oh. San Francisco. So Everyone, this is Snickerdoodle. Oh, bye, Snicks. He's uh, apparently trying to come on camera a little bit over here. So, um, yeah, Snickerdoodle's an interesting cat. She uh, likes to grab your hand a lot and rub on you. And she has extra toes. It's weird. She does. She's a uh, polydactyl. What? Polydactyl. She has many dacks. She's uh, she got six toes and uh, wings. Yeah. All right, we're moving on to beer number five. Number five. This is eyeshadow. Uh, I gave this one an eight on appearance and a seven on smell, so hopefully there's some smell in this. Watch the water, I guess. Uh, well, the water's good. I'd give the water like probably like a, a nine. The water, the water's good. It's definitely got some drinkability to it. Uh, yeah. Mm. This, this, I think this has the strongest of the flavors so far. Like it hits you like really hard yep. with the spice. Like yep. boom. Yep. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't layer at all. I'm not sure there's any kind of aftertaste. It's just like murder your taste buds up front. So no, that's, right. and that's, that's exactly what I'm thinking of. Something. It's like it just, it just comes in and smacks you in the face with all that flavor and then just kind of sits there. It's not, I don't know. It's not we can also be getting not some kind of awesome. I think it's like the Imperial. We could we could be getting some palate fatigue too because there's a lot of flavors in this beer. I mean, a lot of flavors. So. Snickerdoodle, what are you doing? It's chilly. Um, it's like the Imperial. I feel like it's yeah. alcohol it's possible. I feel like it's yeah. alcohol. We'll I don't know which one of these is the coffee L either, frankly. So 
It might be this one because none of these so far have said coffee meals. I would say, yeah. One of these was a pumpkin coffee out so far. They forgot the pumpkin coffee. They, yeah, they, they, they left the coffee out. I mean, I, I don't like this. Beer. I don't like this beer. Um, I think that it's got a lot of flavors. I just feel like it's too much flavor. Like I, I would have trouble drinking like an actual bomber. Just like a it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm not actually gonna, a whole pint. I'm not going to be able to finish that much. It's just. I'm going to finish your beer again. So you're finished with whatever ones you like over there. So I have to run later. Yes, Brett. Corey's flavor description is like being tea bagged with a nut sack of pumpkin spice. That's fair. <laughs> it's, That's it's, fair. It's just like right in your face, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about, Brett. Brett knows. Brett knows. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know that it's worse than number this two. This one suffers from the same one that you really like for me. It's just so much flavor, so the much flavor. I really like that I felt like it was lighter than this. This is so bad. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, I don't think it's worse than the second one, but I don't think it's particularly good either. I'm going to go 21, and then um, I'm going to give the after the same. I give it um, 20, 11, and 19, just like your number three. Didn't like it. I'm going to rate it basically pretty close. 15, 36, 46. So it's going to be 4, 64. I mean, it, not that I should probably say, like, I should probably say ahead of time, like, or not ahead of time since we're on five or six beers, but... I, we only bought, um, normally Shane and I would buy um, four packs of beer, right? Um, you know, or six packs or whatever they have available. Do that uh, On the pumpkin beers, I only bought singles uh, because the truth is that the pumpkin beers are not going to get drinking out of my fridge nope. particularly often. Um, nope. I'm not a huge fan of them most of the time. Uh, if one of these really spoke to me, I might grab a couple more. But I'm never going to go out to my fridge and grab one. Nope. Um, which isn't the true, so it's just as true with like say winter warmers. Like yep. if I had like a six pack of those Anchor Steam like Christmas sales, mm -hmm. I was okay drank. Like I would drink those. Um, I agree. You know, pumpkins are not as much. Though, but the, so. the, I would say that the Anchor does a good job of not just overpowering it, and they do also change it up a little bit each year, so it does They're have some different differences. Year. But yeah, it it's not. It's never been one of those beers that's like this. Just like, oh my god, there's so much flavor, and just like, like you know. I do. I'm, I'm, I'm having palpitations. Like, it's really, really, it's really strong. That one's really strong. All right, we'll have one more to go, and then we have to play some cards and um, drink the rest of the beer. So. Yep. All right, last one. Right, last one. Last one. So you got any questions for us? Uh, James, Brett, Patty, if you're still there, anyone else who happens to be watching? If Patty isn't coming, then we'll throw them out. Brett, Jinx, throw them out. We would love to answer your questions. Um, if you have any other ideas for stuff we can taste or uh, do, we can. I'm pretty sure we've hit basically every style at this point. We haven't technically we haven't done like an all. We haven't done the Hefeweizen one yet. We we yeah, we're, 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 well, we're, we're coming into the total one. We're coming into Oktoberfests, so yeah, that will be getting to in a few weeks. You're right. Hefeweizens are just hard to get. I might set the total wine some hefs. I'm sure if I do the total wine, it's enough. But if I do that, though, I can probably go on a tap and pick out the best hefs. Like oh, they'll probably have the year. Or Tabor once the board. Yeah, Tabor or whatever. That's, I, mean, I mean, I'll go on to board, I'll pick out the best right. at Total Wine. Because um, some of the German ones are going to be on there for sure. There are some nice, like, wide high scene stopper or whatever, um, which is good. Um, there's a couple really good heavens. Best I think it is. Um, which they have at Total Wine. So I'll just, next time I go to Total Wine, I'll just actually sure. order probably four or six hefts. I think six is as many beers as we should do on a single. I agree. So, and, I, and I'm like, I'm like dreading this. This one's a little harder. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just fucking look something crazy at Total Wine. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I hope this one has coffee. I'm suffering through. Yeah, I hope this one has coffee. I'm suffering through. It doesn't have any damn smell. This beer's good. I actually do like this beer. This beer's good. I actually like this beer. It reminds me of like a cream. Yes, yes, that's yes. There's some creaminess to it. There's got to be some lactose or something. Almost no smell. I only gave it six on smell. I know. I like it. It's good. It's really good. And I, and I definitely get like some cappuccino, some, some coffee Denise, flavor. Denise, okay? Denise yeah. is just spilling stuff all day today. She drops the coconut milk all over the kitchen. She's dropping Amber, glasses everywhere. Amber is not a fan. Amber's not a fan. That's what Callie does like it. Um, for the record, Callie does not drink the beer. She only rates them on smell. And for the record. Um, no, it tastes like a cream out of me. I agree. I, I, yeah, I really like this beer. This might be my favorite one. I think I think it's got like I think that if I were to give this an edit, which I'm going to, um, I think that it kind of the aftertaste has like a soapy. That's Callie's on. The aftertaste has like a soapy sort of um, yes feeling to me, like a mouthfeel 
or like a, a late sort of yeah. soapy sort of feel. Yeah. I agree with you. I think the aftertaste is weaker than the base. The upfront taste I agree. is much better. The upfront taste is, is great. I'm going to give it a 27 on upfront taste. I'm going to give it like a 17 on aftertaste. And drinkability, I'm going to give it a 28. It is my favorite beer of the day. Um, I don't kind of like the aftertaste a whole lot, but a 16 there. 45. I'm actually going to give drinkability around the same. Yeah. Yeah. Age, the team, five. What could be four? For the beer of the day. 79 for me. 79 for me. Yeah. Uh, actually, my third. Kind of we got a third for me. We got, third, we got a fourth for me. So, um, Our scores were very, very different this week. Yes. Um, so we're going to bring the beers out, and then uh, we will um, tell you our scores, I guess, as, so, a, as, we, announce as we announce them. For Jim wants a, a beer nut. That's a lot of bugs. A corn nut beer pairing. Right. She wants you to eat it. Oh. Oh. Over here. Okay. You gotta get up. Yeah, ah, so drop one. Which way? This was one. Yes. That's yeah. Got it. So, we're gonna put them down. What? No. Yep. Yeah. You, you gotta turn around. So I'm going to. Ow, that's a toad. Wow, I'm totally thrown off. There's no way beer number three was the coffee one. There's no way. There's no way. All right. So now this side is one. Yeah, so this one is beer number right. one here. Yes. Yeah. Um, Anderson Valley Fall Horn and Ale. Beer number one. Um, Anderson Valley Brewing. Uh, we'll talk about it. It's in Boonville. It's a cool little spot. Shane's going to do some reading, hopefully. It just says ale brewed with pumpkin and spices. Nothing special. <laughs> <laughs> that's good fucking, that's good fucking television right there. Ball, What's this thing on top? Bull Hornet? It says Ball, G-A-H-L Hornet since 1987. I don't know what that is. I think it's Ball. It might be Ball Hornet. Well, it could be. No, that's Ball. B-A-H-L Hornet since 1987. Yeah. So, so I gave this an 83. I liked it. I thought it was a good pumpkin beer. Solid flavor. Uh, it's got a reindeer bear on it. That's pretty cool. That's their logo. Reindeer. The, the, the reindeer bear. Uh, it's got it's bats. I, it's, I, it's, I gave this an 81, which was my second favorite beer of the day. Also my second favorite beer of the day. So that's pretty respectable. I think um, I think it's a good beer, though, honestly. I, I think they make good beer. beer in general. I've got to... Um, Anderson Valley does make good beer. We will be having an Anderson Valley beer um, next week during the um, barrel age, because I have their salted their bourbon barrel age salted caramel stout. Oh. oh. That sounds good. That might be James tasty. Lamb says they can't see. Well, they, we, I moved it. We had to move it backwards. Denise already moved it. Uh, okay. Beer number two. You You're good now, right, Jim? Jim, you can see um, that, right? I can see them slightly. I'm looking at, we were looking at the feed. Yeah, we're good. I, I to be it. fair, there's half of a, the screen is gone for me. Yeah, yeah. Beer yeah. number two. I don't have Facebook. I can't look. Dogfish, Dogfish head. Dogfish head. I should write Just this says down. pumpkin ale. P-U-N-K-I-N ale. 7% alcohol. Off-centered art series. They do tend to do a lot of off stuff. It's a cool little logo here with some sort of a pumpkin airship with a mouse and an owl and a frog. Uh, I'm not, I'll be honest with you, I'm not always a huge fan of their beards. Let's see, brown ale, brewed with pumpkin, brown sugar, allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg. We murdered this beer, dude. We did murder this beer. <clears throat> What's we, the brewery? Is the brewery actually called Dogfish Head? Dogfish Head. What's the name of the beer? Pumpkin. P-U-N-K-I-N. Okay. <clears throat> uh, our associate producer, Cal, will be giving you close-ups of the beer. <laughs> well, uh, so I gave that a 62. so far away. I gave that one a 62. We uh, totally killed that one. Um, yes, we did. I gave so, that yeah. one a 60. That was my least yeah, favorite beer of the day. I've got to say this. If I knew this was no, it wasn't the big bottle. It wasn't the big bottle. If we knew this was supposed to have coffee, uh, so I would rate it even lower. I get this one a 91. You really like this beer, but did you taste coffee? No, let me try it. <clears throat> Straight out the bottle. <clears throat> nice no, no, that's the right beer, though. It's a, He likes this beer. Elysian. Punkachino. Punkachino! Pumpkin ale with the attitude of a world weary barista. Punkachino packs a short shot of Stump Town coffee in your pint with just a shake of cinnamon and nutmeg. I think they might have overly shaked the cinnamons and the nutmegs and maybe not do enough for the cold brew. I would agree with that. Um, I would agree with that. It was definitely my favorite beer of the day and it wasn't even close. Right, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't even. Oh, that's in Seattle? Yeah. Oh, we haven't been there. So you haven't. No, there's one in Oregon. I'm sure. It says brewed by Elysian in Siena. So I don't know. Maybe there was one. I could be wrong. And it says to experience by uh, 2021. Wow. All right, we're good. It's not 2021 yet. We're safe. We're safe. Yes, it's a brown. 
Yeah, because yeah. it's a brand. So, we Corey really liked this beer. I killed it. I gave it a 66, and I would have rated it even lower if I knew it was supposed to have coffee. Oh, Callie's going to show everyone a yeah, close-up. I am. Oh, my God. Cat. Don't fall. I'm not going to. Good. I'm just going to hurt the cat a little bit. Just a little bit. All just right. a small amount. Okay. Next is Shipyard Pumpkinhead. Where's Shipyard from? We didn't talk Shipyard's about that earlier. back east. Rochester, New York. Four and a half percent alcohol. This is a very light beer. And all it says is ale with Al Pacino. That's the rapper, isn't it? Al Pacino? Yeah. Isn't there an Al Pacino rapper? No. Al Pacino's motherfucking Scarface. Right, but isn't there a rapper named Al Pacino? No. Like Alpha Pacino? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure there is. Corey would know. I would know. I would know. Because I'm the rapper right here. Um, so, yeah, so Shipyard. Shipyard makes, um, they're hard to get, they're hard to get on the West Coast, they can get a few of their ales and stuff, but, um, I gave this beer a 77. I gave it an 80. Our schools are pretty close to this. This was my, like, third favorite beer of the day, so it was okay. Honestly, our, our, our only big difference in beers was actually this cup, this, this cup yeah, number two. one, honestly. The other Elysium. Number five, the other Elysium, which is the Imperial, which you thought it was, oh, that's what it was, thank you, Brett. Is the name of the character in Tropic Thunder? That's what I remember. That was his his rapper name in, in Tropic Thunder. So he was a rapper, just a pretend rapper. Sierra. So uh, Elysian, the Great Pumpkin, like the logo, pretty cool. Tropic Thunder, that's amazing. Where literally Robert Downey Jr. does blackface to make fun of a dude doing blackface, which yes. is hilarious. And don't spend the water cup. Uh, the yeah, Great Pumpkin is the world's first imperial pumpkin ale. Yeah. It's packed with pumpkin and roasted pumpkin seeds. It's spiced with cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves. Amber called that one. Oh, Just you're finishing that one. To keep it. I did not like this one. I don't care. You're finishing that one. <laughs> I'm finishing this one, apparently. Like the There's only one. two bombers not finishing this one. That seems fair. Yeah, you get the one you like. So <laughs> You're giving me the one I like better, so I guess that is fair. And last but not least, and I'm probably surprisingly... My favorite beer of the day, Buffalo Bill's America's Original Pumpkin Ale. Six percent alcohol, ale brewed with pumpkin and natural spices. Uh, again, Buffalo Bill's in Hayward. You know, spot on. These, these are the least descriptive cans of like all time. That's true. That is great. true. Um, so to recap, so my favorite beer was this Pumpkin Chino, um, which I think Shane makes an excellent point. Had I known, had we been tasting. Beers with coffee in them, and the theme had been coffee beers. You'd have um, killed it. I might have killed it because I didn't get a lot of coffee. Yeah. But I definitely got the pumpkin spices. Um, but yes. I thought the only beer I really truly felt had pumpkin flavor was that shipyard one. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. The other ones had the spices you associate with a pumpkin pie. They didn't have that pumpkin flavor to me. No, I, I, I thought actually six had the best overall flavor. Five, uh, the shipyard had a good pumpkin flavor to it too, but I, uh, again, Buffalo Bills, it, it was just, it was my favorite overall with the balance, the flavor. You know, if it, I, the only thing I really don't like about it is the color. That's really the only thing. Uh, what's crazy is your best beer game is like an only an 85 no less. So yeah. It's not super hot. You do have an 83 there though. Yeah, well. number one was my second favorite. It was close. It was so yeah, close. so my beers, um, basically this one was the best one by far. And then beers numbers one to the Anderson Valley, the shipyard. And the Buffalo Bills were 79, 80, and 81. Yeah. Um, so they're basically very, very All similar. Very and then I didn't like the Great Pumpkin, and I didn't like the Dogfish Head um, for various reasons. The Dogfish Head Pumpkin, I do think, was probably the worst beer. I just got nothing out of it. No, I didn't enjoy it at all. I, I don't know if they needed more pumpkin or more spices. I don't know. But it's it just was it was good. Just plain. Dogfish Head, I kind of like it. Like the 120 is over. I, I think I, this is just me. I, I personally think Dr. Shen's a bit overrated. But, definitely overrated. But by the same token, they take risks. They don't just make, you know, they don't just go, okay, you know, I'm going to make 22 uh, different no, IPAs. Yeah. They're like, no, we're going to add this kind of stuff here. We're going to add some star anise. So we're going to add, and that is actually one of his shows. Is we got the go, Imperial right. Huh? We did get the Imperial right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to just go and add different flavors and adjuncts and everything else just to try to give. So I will give it, give that to. Dogfish head, they do take risks, which is, I don't think, a bad thing necessarily. So. <clears throat> just keep going this bottle for my, for my grinder to work out. I, yeah, I don't think that'll be a good idea. Yeah. So, unless anybody has any questions, I think that's it for today. Remember, next weekend, Rand Dog Run's going to be with us. That's right. 
and uh, we're going to be doing some barrel ages. Uh, there's a decent chance we're going to be super faded because I want to say we have like six or seven barrel ages, so we'll probably do a little picking and choosing. And every barrel age bullshit is like fucking 14%. Yeah, so I don't stupid. think there's anything under 11%. I don't even yeah. like barrel ages, so expect me to murder like a lot of beers next week, guys. I'm sorry about it. Uh, I'm gonna murder some stuff that I think people love. Um, probably we do have uh, we got some good stuff. We got uh, the bourbon. We got a bourbon county. Yeah. Uh, what, who signed that? Who signed? We have a brewery. Uh, we do have a brewery. Uh, we've got uh, like I said barrel. the we've got a burning barrel one. Which um yes. All the animals are suddenly loving. Actually, you know what? After this, actually, well, after we close out this video, she and I have to go outside and pick out our beers for next week. That's probably what we'll end up doing. That's probably um, good. So I think that's gonna do it for us for today, though. Nope. All right. Nope. And no questions. So. Thanks for watching. Thank again. you guys for joining us. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe. Please do. Send us a share. Have your friends subscribe. They don't have to watch our content. I don't really care that much. I just want to get to 1,000 subscribers so I can stream live on YouTube. Yeah. And uh, check out the website. Well, maybe another 989. Yeah. Well, 988 because Callie should have subscribed. She should have. Yeah. So then we got 988 one day. Trying to get that 12 year old demographic <laughs> on our beer channel. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> uh, yeah. So check out the website. Send us a list or suggestions. For future tastings, uh, if you want to guest star, let friends. us know. Well, yeah, if you'd like to join us, let us know. And again, for the folks watching elsewhere in the country, if you're interested in beer trades, we'd love to do some beer trades. Hit us up, beersplaining.com. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's it. I think once again, uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, <clears throat> hey, just remember, we only have like two more months ish to go in 2020. Three, three more months ish. It's so hard to remember what month yes, it is. It's actually so it three August and a half, earlier. but that's okay. It's August earlier. Ten... No, it's three yeah. months and ten it's days. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck 2020, all uh, right? Right? Fuck 2020. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah, I'm all content in there. Fuck 2020. I'm down in there. <laughs> F2020. Most of these were low. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, most of them are actually pretty low. This one doesn't even have one on it, which means it must be zero. We can, we can hit stop. Thank you for Bye. Coming. Bye. It has to.